Welcome to our channel. Here, we help you find the best place to eat, where to sleep and what to see. Now imagine a bowl of steaming fur, the rich broth simmering for hours, tender slices of beef melting in your mouth, fresh herbs adding a burst of flavor, and rice noodles that are just the right texture. Welcome to the world of Vietnamese cuisine, a tantalizing realm of taste that marries the robust with the delicate, the hearty with the subtle. Each dish tells a story of its own, born from the heart of Vietnam and now thriving in the diverse culinary landscape of San Francisco. In the bustling streets and hidden alleys of this vibrant city, you'll find a smorgasbord of Vietnamese restaurants, each offering a unique interpretation of this beloved cuisine. From the humble family-owned eateries to the high-end dining establishments, the city's Vietnamese food scene is as diverse as the people who call San Francisco home. San Francisco, with its rich history of cultural integration, is the perfect stage for the evolution of Vietnamese cuisine. Here, traditional recipes meet contemporary interpretations, creating an exciting fusion that's both familiar and novel. This city is indeed a food lover's paradise, a place where you can embark on a gastronomic adventure, traversing the length and breadth of Vietnam through its cuisine. From the hearty, soul-warming dishes of the north to the vibrant, zesty flavors of the south, there's a journey in every bite. Starting with the Vietnamese banh mi, a fusion of French and Vietnamese influences resulting in a sandwich that's a riot of flavors and textures at Saigon Sandwich. Then we move on to another iconic Vietnamese dish, phu at phu tan hoa. Then we take you to the lesser known Vietnamese dishes like ca, ko to, or clay pot fish and can. Chua, a Vietnamese soup that is similar to Thai's tom yum and shaking beef or bo luk lak. Then we're taking you to a modern twist of Vietnamese food at An Chi and Bodega SF that's taking Vietnam's a traditional dish to a new level. So join me on this culinary journey as we explore the top 10 Vietnamese restaurants in San Francisco. Kicking off our list is Saigon Sandwich, a humble yet exceptional place known for its incredible banh mi. Tucked away in the heart of San Francisco, Saigon Sandwich offers a modest yet memorable dining experience that's full of flavor. Its specialties are simple yet extraordinarily satisfying. The centerpiece is, of course, the banh mi, a traditional Vietnamese sandwich that's a perfect symphony of taste and texture. Each banh mi at Saigon Sandwich is a work of art, brimming with succulent meats, pickled veggies, fresh herbs and a generous spread of pâté, all nestled within a crusty baguette that's baked fresh daily. Theinfatuation.com gives this establishment 9.1 out of 10 with this review. Saigon Sandwich makes the best banh mi in town, which is why we have no problem showing up to this spot whenever the desire for well-marinated meats hits. The bread is lightly crispy on the outside and soft in the center, and the ratio of pickled carrots to mayo to spiciness is true perfection. Our favorite banh mi spot is located just outside of Little Saigon in the Tenderloin and is cash only. We like getting the version with juicy roasted pork, but going for the tofu, chicken or special combo with ham, pork and pate is never a bad idea either. The Vietnamese counter-serve spot on Larkin runs a tight ship. There's usually a line around lunchtime, but it moves pretty quickly. And after you place your order, your sandwich will be made, tightly wrapped and handed to you, seemingly within seconds. The short menu consists of banh mi with different fillings, from roast chicken or tofu to a special combination with ham and thick pâté, plus a swath of creamy mayo, pickled carrots and daikon, cilantro and jalapeno. The price is reasonable. A sandwich is between $5 and $7. It's a cash-only establishment, so come with cash in hand. At number 9, we have Fertan Hoa, a restaurant that's renowned for its fur. The heart and soul of this culinary gem lies in its commitment to preserving the authenticity of traditional Vietnamese cuisine, with a particular emphasis on pho. The pho at Phu Tan Hoa is an experience in itself. The broth, simmered for hours on end, is rich, aromatic and deeply flavorful. It's a symphony of taste that dances on the palate, a harmonious blend of star anise, ginger and beef bones. It's the kind of broth that warms you from the inside out, a comforting embrace in a bowl. You should try the duck biet, phu, ko, or special dry phu. The rich, smooth broth is served on the side, it's practically two dishes in one. And the long egg noodles come loaded up with peanuts, tendon, flank, brisket, tripe, and rare steak. Add some chili oil to the noodles and dip them in the broth. It's a constant back and forth between slurping and scooping. But phu tan hoa is more than just its phu. Its bun ba hue, or spicy beef noodle soup, is very tasty as well. 
Some even go as far as the best Boon Ba Hue they ever tasted. It has the perfect balance of spices. And don't forget the Vietnamese coffee or cafe, Shua Da. A bowl of pho is about nine to ten dollars. Vietnamese coffee is two dollars and fifty cents. At Phu Tan Hua is open from 8 a.m. to 3, 3 p.m., except for Thursday. They don't have a problem of kicking you out at 3 p.m., so come early. Before we continue our mouth-watering journey through the heart of Vietnam's culinary scene, we'd like to take a moment to remind you to subscribe, like, and share our video. Your support allows us to keep bringing you the best food destinations around the world. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get alerts when new videos are uploaded. We promise you, there's a lot more deliciousness to come. Leave us a comment for your favorite Vietnamese restaurants in San Francisco. Now let's continue our culinary journey through these fantastic Vietnamese restaurants, each one offering a unique and unforgettable dining experience. Number 8 on our list is Quay Viet, a restaurant that's all about authenticity. This restaurant next to the Caltrain station is ideal for a last-minute Vietnamese meal that will never disappoint. The long menu has lots of range with everything from from the robustly flavored Pho Bo, a beef noodle soup that's the epitome of comfort food, to the Boon Cha Thiet Nuong, a dish of grilled pork and noodles that's a staple in southern Vietnam, Quê Viet offers a culinary journey through the different regions of Vietnam. From the diverse menu to the traditional flavors and the warm atmosphere, Quê Viet is a restaurant that offers a truly authentic Vietnamese dining experience. If you decide to go here, bring a lot of friends so you can try different bite of everything. It's not a surprise that the satisfied patrons of this restaurant gave it 4.6 out of 5 stars on Yelp and 4.9 out of 5 stars on Google. TheInfatuation.com gave it 8.1 out of 10 and recommend for big group. Noodle soup is around $18. Cha de zo or deep fried imperial roll is $10. Bo thai, cha in or ribeye steak carpaccio is $16. A must try kerm tam or broken rice with succulent grilled pork around $18. Quê Viet, a true taste of Vietnam in the heart of San Francisco. Coming in at number 7 is An Hong, a restaurant that's known for its wide variety of dishes except for pho. Don't expect to order any pho at An Hong, which you'll realize as soon as you see the small no pho sticker on the door. The satisfied patrons at this restaurant gave it 4.6 out of 5 stars on Yelp and gave it 4.4 out of 5 stars on Google. Restaurant review website TheInfatuation.com likes this establishment enough to give it 8.6 out 10. Some say the food is tasty and has great flavor and texture. Others recommend the make-your-own spring rolls, which come with eight fillings, fresh ingredients and a variety of sauces, herbs and vegetables. This casual restaurant in the Outer Richmond is known for its ban hoi or noodle squares. These life-changing, make-your-own rolls combine fresh ingredients with just the right ratio of smoked meats and tangy sauce. They're served with a heaping plate of mint, basil, bean sprouts, carrots, cucumbers and loads of fish sauce. There are eight different fillings that you can choose. The grilled shrimp with a nice char and the slightly sweet grilled pork of the Nem Nuong is the best. And make sure to also get the excellent Bo Tai Chan or Vietnamese version of beef carpaccio on your table. They only open for dinner from 5 to 9.30 p.m. every day, except for Tuesday. Rightly so, they are on the pricier side for Vietnamese restaurant. The cost per person is around $30 to $50. Halfway through our list at number 6, we have Thai Nghe Yip Ki, Mi Tsa, a restaurant that brings the lesser-known noodle soup from Saigon. The restaurant is a tiny little hole in the wall that resides beneath a giant glowing yellow sign on Noriega Street between 21st and 22nd Avenues. Once inside, everything changes. The smells of tangy fish sauce, pork and braised fowl waft through the large dining room. In front of every guest is a big bowl of noodles decorated with ground pork, shrimp cakes, dumplings and offal. Your mouth will start to water as you speculate over what to order first. The noodle dishes made popular in Saigon by Chinese Vietnamese immigrants. They were commonly found in Saigon District 5 or Cholon. Now they can be found everywhere in Vietnam. You can pick from me or egg noodles or her tiu or rice noodles. You can either have it as a soup or dry. Dry means the bowl of noodles without submerging in broth is accompanied by a small bowl of broth. The menu is long and the options vary slightly, but for the most part it's soup. Egg noodles and rice noodles are nested into bowls, while soups are poured over or served in a small bowl on the side. Each soup is loaded with either duck, beef, chicken or seafood, and slightly varies depending on the type of noodle. 
One of the popular item is number 10 braised duck leg with wonton ho fun and a mix of egg noodles and flat rice noodles. The recommendation is to have it dry or broth on the side. If you are more into traditional beef, try hu tiu, bao ku, or beef stew, ho fun soup. The beef is simmer for hours and is melt in your mouth with savory flavor. The traditional hu tiu bo vien or flat rice noodles with meatball soup is always a good bet. Since hu tiu and mi are considered breakfast dishes for Vietnamese, the restaurant is open from 10 in the morning to 6.30 at night. They are closed on Tuesday though, most of the noodle dishes are priced around $12. Vietnamese coffee is around $6. They do take credit card with a minimum charge of $15. At number 5 we have An Chi, a restaurant that's all about the art of Vietnamese cooking. Here the vibrant cuisine of Vietnam comes to life in a symphony of fresh ingredients and innovative presentations. An Chi is not your average Vietnamese restaurant. It takes Vietnamese cuisine to a new level by harmonizing tradition with modernity. The dishes served here are a testament to the age-old culinary traditions of Vietnam, yet they bear a creative twist that's distinctly an chi. Aside from the infamous pho duc bia or special beef noodle soup, bun bo hui or spicy beef noodle soup and bun rio or crab noodle soup are among the popular dishes here. From the crisp, refreshing spring rolls to the robustly flavored pho, every dish is a celebration of Vietnamese cooking. The fusion of traditional and modern flavors is evident in their offerings, Take for instance their signature dish, a traditional pho made with beef bone broth that's been simmered for hours, then topped with a medley of fresh vegetables and herbs, and a touch of lime. It's a dish that's both comforting and exciting, familiar yet new. An Chi is open from 11 in the morning to 7.45 in the evening except on Tuesday. It most busy time is during lunch between 12 to 2 p.m. Expect to pay around $20 per person. Number 4 on our list is Golden Lotus, a restaurant that's breaking the mold with its vegan Vietnamese cuisine. This is not your ordinary Vietnamese restaurant. Golden Lotus takes the well-loved flavors of Vietnam and infuses them into a wholly plant-based menu. Their commitment to crafting delicious, healthy dishes is truly awe-inspiring. Each plate is a testament to the power of plants and the creativity of the chefs who bring them to life. Their menu is a tapestry of traditional Vietnamese dishes, all reimagined with a vegan twist. From the vibrant spring rolls, packed with fresh herbs and crisp vegetables, to the hearty pho brimming with tofu and mushrooms, every bite is a celebration of Vietnamese cuisine, minus the meat. If you are a vegan or vegetarian, this restaurant is for you. This cuisine called kerm chai or fasting food used to be served to Buddhist monks and dedicated followers. Don't be fooled by the name on the menu. Chicken, gilled pork, or fried calamari are all plant-based. Hours are 9 in the morning to 8 at night every day except Sunday. Appetizer is between $7 and $15. Main entree is between $12 and $15. Golden Lotus, proof that vegan food can be just as flavorful and satisfying. Coming in at number 3 is Le Colonial, a restaurant that's all about the French influence on Vietnamese cuisine. Situated in the heart of San Francisco, Le Colonial is more than just a restaurant. It's a time machine, whisking diners off to a bygone era where French colonialism left an indelible mark on Vietnam's culinary landscape. As you step into Le Colonial, you're greeted by a décor that exudes elegance and charm. Imagine a colonial mansion, nestled within the lush greenery of a tropical jungle. Rattan furniture, ceiling fans lazily spinning, and black and white photographs capturing moments from a distant past complete the picture. It's like stepping into a sepia-toned memory, brimming with nostalgia and a sense of history. But let's talk about the food, shall we? The fusion menu at Le Colonial is a delightful dance between Vietnamese flavors and French savoir-faire. The chefs here have artfully blended traditional Vietnamese ingredients with French culinary techniques to create dishes that are as visually stunning as they are delicious. From bung quan, delicate rice crepes filled with ground pork and wood ear mushrooms, to the kari ga, a succulent chicken curry with sweet potatoes and onions, each dish tells a story of the two cultures that have influenced it. And let's not forget the desserts. The bang flan, a creamy caramel custard, is a must-try, drawing its inspiration from the French creme caramel. While we savor the fusion flavors, it's essential to remember the history of French colonialism in Vietnam. The French ruled Vietnam for almost a hundred years, from the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century. 
This period of colonial rule has left a lasting impact on Vietnam, particularly on its cuisine. The fusion of Vietnamese and French flavors isn't just about culinary creativity, it's a reflection of history, a nod to the past. It's about acknowledging the influence and impact of colonial rule, even as we appreciate the unique blend of flavors it has given birth to. Le Colonial, where history and cuisine intertwine. Just missing the top spot, at number two, we have Lily, a Richmond spot doing upscale, punched up versions of classic Vietnamese dishes. You should come here when you want to celebrate a milestone in your nicest sweater. Bring a date to share cocktails and garlic noodles under the intricately carved ceiling panels, or slide up to the bar for an I deserve this solo meal. The dishes are as stylish as the space, like the whole fish curled around a bed of saucy pineapple chow fun, or the shaking beef finished off with edible flowers and a soft poached egg. It's no surprise that Julia Chen of TheInfatuation.com gave this establishment an 8.5 out of 10. The patrons on Yelp gave Lily 4.3 out of 5 stars. Julia Chen went on to say, But the food here isn't just stunning to look at. Everything that lands on your table explodes with flavors and textures. Case in point, the colorful shaking beef salad. Tender filet mignon is dressed up with crispy toasted garlic and shallots and tart radishes that cut through the buttery avocado. The drinks are also pumped up with twists, like a strawberry sintu with pop rock-like candy mixed in, or the creamy iced Vietnamese coffee topped with salted duck egg shavings. What set Lily apart is its service. Your water glasses never hit empty, and the chef may be the one to bring out your food. The space is intimate, but not cramped. At Lily, it's an experience from start to finish. The place is only open for dinner from 5 to 9 at night except Tuesday. They do open for lunch Friday to Sunday from 11 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. It's a white cloth establishment, so expect to pay around $50 to $60 per person. And finally, at number 1, we have Bodega SF, a restaurant that's taking Vietnamese cuisine to new heights. This northern Vietnamese restaurant located in Tenderloin right off the Powell Saint Station is the perfect place to take visitors, or anyone who wants thinly sliced filet mignon in the form of a tangy bow tai chan and cocktails inspired by hai chus and red bean. Theinfatuation.com gives establishment 8.6 out of 10, while patrons from Yelp gives it 4.6 out of 5 stars. Julia Chen from Theinfatuation.com said this about Bodega SF. Bodega SF is a rebirth. It's run by the family behind Bodega Bistro, which shut its doors in 2017 before evolving into a pop-up. The newest iteration still focuses on northern Vietnamese dishes. They've also created a stylish space, with funky geometric overhead lights and dark wood pillars that inspires us to kick back for hours over cocktails infused with pandan and Vietnamese coffee, plus family-style appetizers and entrees like bun cha and whole fried branzino sink into a semi-private booth and debrief the latest celebrity breakup while Kalani and Jack Harlow pump through the speakers. Bodega SF feels like an outside lands lineup ran into a neighborhood bar. So it's no surprise that this spot works as well for birthday dinners you reserve a few weeks out, as it does for tourists looking for lunch after a morning of Union Square window shopping. The Ban Kut is a must try. It's a traditional Vietnamese dish with a high-end Western twist. The little bite-sized turmeric shrimp pancakes are topped with caviar are out of this world. The shaking beef or bo luk luck is a must try. This traditional Vietnamese dish is shaking with truffle butter for an interesting modern taste. The bo tai chan or carpaccio beef is a mix of thinly sliced filet mignon doused in citrus fish sauce and topped with crispy shallots. The price is ranging from $15 to $19 for small bites and main course is between $29 to $70. There's also a chef's tasting menu at $90 per person with a minimum of two people. That concludes our journey through the top Vietnamese eateries in San Francisco. We've tasted the delectable offerings from Saigon Sandwich to Bodega SF, each providing a unique experience of Vietnamese cuisine. With the traditional flavors of Phu Tan Wo, the modern twist at An Chi, and the fusion of East and West at Bodega SF, there's a culinary adventure waiting for everyone. We encourage you to visit these places and discover your own favorites. And remember, the best part about food is that there's always more to explore, more to taste, and more to fall in love with. If you've enjoyed this gastronomic journey, don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Your feedback helps us create more content that you love. New videos are released every Saturday, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss our next delicious destination. Thank you for joining us on this culinary adventure. 
Don't forget to tune in next Saturday for more delicious destinations. Until then, happy eating.